All right, yo, what up? It is Ponage Tutorials Two seventy six. You gotta say the numbers. It sound cool. All right, today I'll be talking about Adobe After Effects CC. More importantly, the Redefined Edge tool, the new tool that's in the Roto Brush. Everybody know the Roto Brush. That's like one of the main reasons why people actually want Adobe After Effects CS five. It's because the Roto Brush is much easier. Instead of doing a pen tool, we have motion pictures. Honestly, when you have video, actually it's the same thing, but whatever. So, what is the Redefine Edge tool? Basically, it's a tool that if you have blurness or like hard things that the Roto Brush can't handle, you can use the Redefine Edge tool, and it like it makes it. I'm gonna say it. It bleaches the background, if you want to say. That pops up again. Hold on for a second. Uh, he's he confused. Don't worry about him. All right. So yes, it makes it more. Um, I don't. You know, you would just look at it. But it basically, um, it's like a gray screen, if you want to say it like that. Uh, so yeah. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to uh, get this. I picked out a picture. So it's this. I try to pick out. I want to. I don't want to say the hardest picture, but the picture was here inside. And and go. There we go. It's important. So all right. So what you want to do is I just want to bring this to a new composition. All right. So, oh damn! What is wrong with this? Is that how it looks for real? Huh. Damn it. Guess I can't paint this picture so Deal. Okay, uh You know what? I guess this. We're here and whatnot. Alright, I guess we hopefully this picture won't do the god dang thing. So uh, so I'm I bet you wondering why do I have these pictures because I got prank calls and um uh, upload pictures so yeah all right so the hell is wrong with this oh my gosh hold on for a second just total you know I just used a picture that I um recently did use so all right so you're gonna import your picture blah 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 you should really know how to do that if you don't just drag and um drop this to um if you want to do a new composition just drag this and drop it right here it'll create a new composition and everything so double click this so I'm not entirely sure do you have to use the um, roto brush but just use a roto brush first I believe you do have to use a roto brush first anyway so use a roto brush like normal uh, and also to uh, make this small or big hold down the control button and um, click and um, drag your mouse. So, uh, come on. There's actually more. Actually, more. Doop. Uh, and also to do this, um, click the Alt button. So, just in case people don't know how to use these tools, I'm not probably going to even worry about this too tough. But yeah, so do do do. No, just. All right, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that body too that tough. All right, so. All right, so now, let me, hundred percent. All right, so now you're wondering, hmm, this looks good, but then once you do this, nope, wait, ah, oh, I don't like this. All right, so here's another fix for it. Now, if the hair is like this, and it's looking just like this, and you don't want that, this is where the redefine tool, edge tool, come in. So you go to the roller brush tool. Go below it, and it should be the refine edge tool. I thought it was redefine. Whatever. I don't care. 
Same thing, okay. guys. So you're gonna take that tool and you're gonna go over the hair that you want to redefine. So I wanna redefine this hair, right? So you can go over this, alright? Ah, uh, be careful. I guess you can mess things up. And you can go over it and bam. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now you're looking like, oh, okay, I don't get it. Well, what's so special about that? It has something black over our hair. What does this even solve? Wait. Watch. If I did it correctly, watch. You see that? Now watch this. Nope. Wait. Raw vision. Bam. See that? Okay, you probably can't really see that. Um. Bam. Look at that hair. Let me zoom in a little bit. 25. Uh, 33.3. You see this? We're not even worried about the rest of the body. Look at, just, just look at there. Ah, um, bam. Just, just, just look at this right now. This, the hair that you can actually see right here. You couldn't even see my fingers. My fingers on my laptop. This, the hair that, that is redefined. And it's like, the blurness, it brings the blurness back in the natural. It makes it look more natural. So, it went from this, and to natural and whatnot. So, now, we go back to the original footage. Okay, so, what happens, what happens if you don't want this white stuff right here, right? So, this is what you do. You go to here, and you go to, um, um, click decontaminate edge color. And that should fix the problem. So, look how that looks. Look how that looks. Now, if I didn't have the... I don't think I can even do that. That says end, so there's no turning it off. So, now watch this. Bam! Look at that! Look at that hair! Look at that! See, that's what the refine edge tool can do. And it probably can do more things. It's up to you to uh, explore of what this tool can actually do. And it's, I'm kind of glad they actually added this. Just in case, if you don't have a... um. Green screen, you can do this, but you have to track it more carefully. This is just a picture, and it may be a little tougher to do with a video. Please get off my screen, god dang it. It's going to be more harder to do with a video. So, also, let me show you something else, too. Now, go to Project, get this, and I'm going to press Control-D control D to duplicate. Alright, so I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to delete this. Now. Alright, so, let me put this at the bottom. Let me take this off, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to go to Effects, Blur and Sharpen. You already know what I'm going to do. Where is that at? Blur and Sharpen, Blur and Sharpen, Blur and Sharpen. I hear this. <laughs> blur and Sharpen. Uh, I want to say, I don't know how to pronounce that. Whatever. And I'm going to just blur the background like that. You probably can't see that, but it's noticeable. You can do death of field. Death of field. DOF. Whoever knows cameras know what I'm talking about. You can do death of field without an SLR camera. It's going to be a little bit harder because if you have a video, you're going to have to track it really good and make it look make it look excellent, I guess. But look like a good job. So, but you can do like death of field. And it's going to be like way easier because look at the hair. Like, let me zoom into this more, because I'm so, like, like, I didn't even think Adobe was going to do this, but just, it looks natural, sort of. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure a person, a person who know how to uh, make pictures, like, eh, it's alright. But to me, it looks natural. It looks good. It looks better than what the um, roller brush can do on its own. So that's how you do that. You do the roller brush first, and then you drag, and then you take the read fine edge tool and go over the places where you want to refine the edge and bam it's nothing else is that simple so if you have any questions about it please don't hesitate to ask so it's, it's that simple I actually learned on my own I really didn't even watch Adobe tutorials to do this because what I did was I used a refine edge tool first and it looked weird to me I think you could do that first I'm not entirely sure I guess we could find let's find out now let's see what happens if we just use the refine edge tool so Get off my goddamn screen, god dang it. Alright, so we go take 
no control and to do a new composition or you can go to composition new um blah and we gonna pick this right here all right so 100 if it up to 100 so we're gonna double click this class <laughs> double click this uh let me exit off this okay double click this and we just what happened Man, I don't know what happened. Double click. Don't know what happened. It's probably because I got another one open. Let me try this. Uh, well, you already know how this looks, so you can keep it um mental image in this your map. So we're gonna delete this. Uh, so the heck is wrong. Oh, don't what that made no sense I don't know I don't know what happened okay so take the read okay we got that tool so we're gonna take this and oh let me get this we gonna take this and we're just gonna see what happens unless we just just do this and we're we gonna do a sloppy job because you know we sloppy people we don't care and voila and let's see what happened. Looks weird, don't it? Uh, I don't think nothing really happened. Yeah. So yeah, you gotta use the roto brush first. So yeah, use the roto brush first. Use redefine um refine edge tool to what you want to refine, and we don't need you no more. And that's how you do it. So yeah, if you have any questions, like I said before, don't hesitate. To, um, ask them in the comment section below. This is Pony Tutorials. Uh, uh, 276. Sounds awesome. Remember, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. You don't have to, but it'd be much appreciated. Alright, I'm out.